Welcome. This is the Day Trading Genius online daily review for January 17, 2019. Our goal is to show you that there are opportunities pretty much every day the stock market is open for you to make a nice percentage in a small period of time. And that's what we're all about uh, managing the risk, getting a good return on your money. No more of these 2% uh, annual returns from your savings account in your bank. And I guess I'm being generous when I say it's even that high. But I'm Scott, and we're joined by Coach Jay. Coach Jay, what happened today? Today, we had a strong green morning, and then nothing. <laughs> it, all, it all kind of petered out there uh, right about 10 o'clock. Uh, you had some big, some bigger candles on the down movement, but you can just see overall the size of the candles on the day just dwindling to nothing much. And you can see here in the program without even having to know the candles or interpret that it was a very low volume day. So our interest is mainly going to be in the morning. I will uh, have an afternoon surprise for you on this day, but this is what we're looking at for the for the morning session. It's a pretty flat, flat day. Yeah, I'm not too excited. This this morning stuff is pretty good, but you can see these ranges, pretty big, and you got these dojis. So there, there's there's a fight going on. The bulls and bears are going back and forth, trying to decide where the market's going to go today. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. I'm going to bring Baba up. Baba had some nice action early in the morning. If you uh, like to trade first thing. Just need to find him on my list. There he is. So right out, right out of the gates here at 933. Baba's peeking its head out of some resistance, increasing in power. So we are interested in this. One of the things of note is we've got some significant resistance here. We're going to see how uh, Baba kind of plays out with that, whether it's going to blow through it or kind of hover there. We'll, we'll see what it does. But I am interested and there's enough room to run to make some money. And there we go. It, it broke through. Yeah. It broke through. So you've stayed in. This, I would be expecting a, because of this type of resistance here, I'd be expecting a pullback to that resistance. Plus, I'm at 27%. I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to go ahead and get out. Even though the market is still building, I don't want to be greedy. I want that 27%. I may have even gotten out there at 20%. Either way, either one of those candles would have been a good exit point. Let's go ahead and close there and let's just take it a little bit further to see what it does. And there you go. There's that pullback that I was talking about. Yeah. And if I hadn't gotten out, that would have been my my signal right there. That big pullback. Keep your money don't get greedy. <laughs> That's right. So lots of times when you look back on your trades, if you have an opportunity like a software we have with a replay, we can go back eight years. Lots of times when you get done with your trade, when you review it, you'll realize there's a lot of different, there were a lot of opportunities or a lot of signals to exiting. And so sometimes when you're, when you're in it, you don't see those. But you've got that resistance point, you've got a trend that's starting, and then you have this big pullback. It's starting to tell you it's undecided. People are saying, hey, that's enough. I'm going to go ahead and close out. We want to be ahead of those folks when we're closing out. Absolutely. And then let's go just shortly there back. 
if that w- that other trade was too early for you, got a little bit of a late start or isn't with your trading strategy, Boeing was right there with it. Boeing up. We're on the two minute candle. And Boeing had a nice little trade. So here it is, breaking out of the resistance. It's, it's right at the resistance point here. We could be expecting a uh, potential turnaround, but market direction is is strong and is heading up. So I'm interested, and I'm looking at either a whole dollar amount or this resistance point up in here. And there you have it. In one minute, 23%. It's a big candle. I'm not interested in sticking around to see what's going to happen. It does look like it's building, but with this amount of movement in one candle and this size of candle, I'm just going to take that 23%. I have a suspicion that there's going to be some flutter or some pullback, and it's just not worth sticking around in there to see if it's going to make it to the next next line of resistance or come back down. I'm good with the 23%. And so I'll go ahead and exit now. And we can see where it goes if you want to, Scott. I, I'm always curious. <laughs> there you go. There's the pullback. And then it gets back up to that whole dollar amount. And then Peter's out. Yeah, it's not worth the stress of being up here to being down here, back up to here <laughs> to being down. There. Somebody else can have that drama in their life. I don't need it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we want to be boring traders. We just want to get in, get our money, get out, and not have to uh, watch the flutter. Yeah, it's most of the time it's not worth it. Every every now and then there's definitely trends where it makes sense. With this one, with this resistance here and this significant resistance up here. If you didn't get out here and you got out down here, I can uh don't I don't have a crystal ball and we're not in the business of predicting, but there's a good chance that it would come up here and meet significant resistance and bounce back down and maybe just channel in this area if it didn't make it through here. So it's not enough for me to get so excited that it's worth the risk. Right. Like I said, there is, there is an afternoon surprise in today's. Sometimes the afternoon just has incredible moments. Now, is you saw on the basket earlier how it was the um, the candles were getting smaller and the volume was super low. In the afternoon session, it picked up significant. We're going to switch over to Apple. And bring up an afternoon window. So we're on five minute candles here and you can see much like the, the basket that I showed earlier that in the morning it was pretty undecided and it kind of went up and didn't really do anything, got flat and candles got really small. You could even hear, see here it's saying just not a good time for trading at all. Just, just stay out. This is about as far as the indicators go. This is about as clear a signal as, as you get that this is not a good time for this time window right here. But things do change. And right here you got you got a large volume spike and you've got this large green candle that's basically, you know, bucking all the resistance that it's had for the day with a nice nice range on it. And you can't see the uh, power genius or the market genius, but it is uh, at 46 percent and uh, or at 46, and the minute log is at 94. So you can see there's a lot of force, not just in Apple, but in the market overall. And that's what we want to go. We want to go go with the flow.
And we'll go ahead and move forward Whoa. and see where this takes us. And this is a really fantastic trend with a lot of volume and a lot of movement. And look, compared to the candle, even these wicks aren't, they're, they're long, you know, compared to some of these others, but not compared to the size of the candle. So it's, everything is saying, hey, this is a fantastic situation. Take advantage of it while you can. Holy smokes. It's not even batting an eye at some significant resistance. So it's telling you we we can we can do this all day <laughs> right now. It's not gonna last all day, but it's 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 a very strong trend. This is kind of like that rogue wave that sometimes hits when you're out in the ocean. Yeah, so you can see here there was that pullback when it hit up there. If you didn't get out there, this should be the indicator that it's time to get out. So you're at resistance and you've got the uh, the fractal there which you know is is a is a form of resistance but you have this huge pullback i'm i'm gonna go ahead and say that it's safe to stay at 76 yeah. percent if you're if you're not happy with that <laughs> go ahead and get out right so either on this candle or this candle would be the indicators this would be the conservative it's it's obvious things are happening but if that wasn't it then you could see the how how uh, short or how small the range was on what is existing left on here so you it's it's running out of steam you have this huge volume spike and it could still be building throughout i'm not sure but you could see that th this is a lot lower. So it, it's, it's running out of steam. When it's climbing up, more volume's better. When it starts losing some volume, that's, you know, that, uh, that's a potential signal there. Right. And 76%, like. Yeah. <laughs> so that's even if you're an after trade. trader, you can make money. You can make significant money in the afternoon. Uh, your time windows are a little bit different and the trends are a little bit different. But the system, the system still points it out loud and clear. Awesome. So we, we got into Apple late in the day and made 76.2%. That's like amazing in 12 minutes. And then Boeing earlier in the, more, in the day was 22.6%. That was basically one minute. And uh, Baba was 19.8% in three minutes so pretty significant gains on a very very flat day very flat day low volume wait be patient seize those moments seize those opportunities when they come don't sit by on the sidelines because the whole day has been flat when you see stuff like this that, that that's your time to strike to get in awesome Thanks very much for sharing this, Coach Jay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This has been the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 17, 2019. We're here to show you that pretty much every day there are opportunities to make money. I'm not sure that you can make 76% every day. That's a, probably an anomaly. But uh, regardless, a lot better than having your money in the bank or a lot of the other ways that you can uh, risk your money. So. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.